Hi, hello, how are you? It is me, Cameron Michaels. And Asia O'Hara. And we are here for a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. She's a super queen. A holiday edition. Happy holidays. Are you ready for the holidays? No. No? Well, that you gotta I, get that ready. That means I have to spend money on people and I don't like Okay, well, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready for the holidays, Cameron. Keep up. I like Halloween better. Keep up. And guess what we're doing today? What? The RuPaul's Drag Race Holla Slay Spectacular. <gasps> That's what we're right? reviewing? I just oh, I love, love this outfit. Thank you. I love yours. I what love are you Chris. To, what are you supposed to be? A, you're supposed to be a nutcracker? I am. I can get down with that. Okay, what are you supposed to be? I am, I love Christmas. Okay, Cameron. <clears throat> This is not a Christmas outfit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's my I love, I love Christmas. See? Yeah. But this is a queen of hearts. No, it's not, it's Christmas. It's red and, it's red and white. Red and white doesn't make Christmas. I, well, you're, wearing, you're wearing red and white? Yeah, this is a nutcracker. Like, you know, from the movie, The Nutcracker, the ballet, uh -huh. The Nutcracker. I've seen it. This, okay, have you seen Christmas? See Look, what? it has a spade on it. I thought that was a piece of chocolate for Christmas. <laughs> no, girl, that is a, you're the queen of hearts. Well, do you have anything to make my outfit more Christmas for you since it's not Christmas enough? I thought you would never ask. Aww! Christmas it up. We're gonna be reviewing the eight queens that Rue has chosen for her Hollis Slay yes. Spectacular. So exciting. Mm -hmm. And in the holiday spirit, we should have a drink. We should have a drink anyways, but yes, absolutely. Okay, great. How about a nice glass of Segura Viudas? Now this, okay. this, is like, this is like a weapon, girl. I don't know. Okay. I I'm really okay. frightened right now. Tap it up once with your Christmas wand. Ah! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! To RuPaul's Drag Race Holla Slay Spectacular! So first we're gonna do their entrance looks, okay? okay? First okay. up, Trixie Mattel. I... It's furry. I like fur. Okay. I like Continue. fur. It's, it's pink. I like pink. I love pink things. Um, it's... Um, I mean, it's cute. It's pink, it's fur, it's got a little hood. Lots of things pink. that have hoods are cute, but. Wow. <laughs> Is it a toot or a boot? It's a, it's a cute. It's a cute. Can we, can we do that? Next up, Latrice Royale. Royale. This is definitely Christmas. It's definitely Christmas. She definitely looks like the only Mrs. Claus. It's definitely cute, it's definitely Christmas. I do feel like this is a Christmas outfit that pretty much every drag queen has had at one point in her career. Yes. Um, but it's cute, it fits well, it's well put together. Um, it's a two for me. I don't know if she meant to give us like a new era version of the Santa belt, because it's not a traditional Santa belt. Uh, but the outfit looks cute, she looks cute. Her hair is coiffed back. And it um, needed a different color hair. You know, the white hair into the white fur on the hood just all kind of blends in together for me. True. It needed a different hair and a different shoe, but it's, it's a toot. It's a toot. Up next, we have Miss Eureka O'Hara. I love this. I love this too. I love this. The only thing I do not love is she needed on a pair of stockings. The fabric is simple, but the structure of the garment is very Beautiful. grand, and I'm very into it. I love the shoulders and the ruffle. Uh, and the pleating down below to match. And I love the hair with this. It's very like Mrs. Claus does, what does Mrs. Claus do? Gay bingo? Gay bingo? I it's, like, uh, it's like Mrs. Claus has a smart dinner party and invites all her wealthy friends. And I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful, it fits well. Mm -hmm. I love all the drama on the shoulders. Yes. The hair's a good size, a nice color. Mm -hmm. uh, just needs a pair of stockings. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's a toot for me. It's a toot for me as well. Toot. Mayhem Miller! Good old mayhem. It's Miller time. It's Miller time. Yes. I like it. I do too. I, lo I love the fit of the dress. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's, it's again, this is a Christmas outfit that a, lo yes. a lot of girls yes. have. But I love this. It's kind of sophisticated, which mm -hmm. mayhem is. Um, yes. The hair looks great. Um, her makeup, as always, looks wonderful. The dress is a, almost a perfect length. Mm -hmm. um, I love everything about it. It's not, you know, too over the top or whatever, but it's a, you know, it's one of those things where you can't really say anything bad about it. No, true. Uh, she is cinched. I can see her waist. That is lovely. Uh, the length of the gown, again, is very lovely. Mm -hmm. I hate when I can see somebody's shoes in a full length gown like this. It's the yes. perfect length for a gown. It's traditional, but it's really cute and it fits well. So. Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Next up, we have Sonique. Oh my God, first of all, I'm so excited to see her back on the screen. And yes. I love this. What a wonderful way to put a spin, your own spin, 
on Christmas. Yes. I love this. I love the cut. Mm -hmm. Her body looks great. Everything about this is fabulous. I love this. This is stunning to me, and I love that she's chosen not to do traditional Christmas colors because she's going to stand out from the other girls. You Agreed. always want to look different. Agreed. Um, and the silhouette is lovely, and the fact that she's giving us like a Marilyn does Christmas mm -hmm. gig. Mr. President. Merry Christmas, Mr. President. Um, kind of thing. I'm here. <laughs> what? You don't like you don't like my Marilyn voice? It's okay. She's giving me very old Hollywood glamour for Christmas, and I love it. It's a toot. Toot. Up next we have Kimchi Kim serving us Christmas. Chi. Well, this isn't really Christmas. This is like another um It looks like Christmas to me. This, this like looks Christmas? just like the Santa Claus that I have that I put on top of my tree. This looks like Christmas. It does. Those ones in like the gold. Yes. Because Santa's, where is Santa from originally? Like the Netherlands maybe? Okay. So she's maybe giving Russia? us like traditional where Santa really came from before it was like all Americanized and like more Polish. Yes. Or Polish, is it Polish? It's not Polish, I don't okay. believe. I love this. I do too. I think it looks great. You know, I love the halo crown. I love the, you know, the textures in the dress. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful length. Toot. I agree. I'm gonna toot it. I love texture. So next up we have Miss Jasmine Mastaz. She looks great. The dress is beautiful. I've seen this dress in person. Um, um, her hair and makeup looks nice. What I do not like is there are four different colors going on. Her arms, her breast, her tummy, and her legs are kind of all a different color. Agreed. And I mean, it's stunning. It doesn't read Christmas to me. I know she came in in a fur coat, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, Christmassy. Agreed, but once when you reveal from something to another and there's a theme, the underneath should still represent the theme. I love Jasmine, but this is a boot for me. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a boot. Boot. Next up, Shangela. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, she's back, bitches. For oh, the it's 19th like, time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For Christmas, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, we haven't seen green yet from any of the girls, so mm -hmm. she chose a green color. I this outfit is, is wonderful. You know, it lights up, it's great. That's a nice little Christmas. It lights up? It does. You know, she's known for a little gag, a little surprise. I am too. Um, I think this is beautiful. I think this is beautiful. I don't like the platform shoe, and the red jewelry with the green just seems like, let me put red with this so they know that it's Christmas. Yeah. Um, I don't think that was needed, but it's still beautiful. The hair is beautiful. She looks like, you know, a 16 year old girl on Christmas day, getting ready to cascade down a spiral staircase. To, oh, very that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to open up all of her gifts, I love it. I think the hair looks great with it. I love the cape, and I love that she chose green because nobody else did yet. To the boot for you. Um. Oh, I'm gonna toot it. Hallelujah. It's a toot. Holly toot. So we are looking at the girls in their outfits from the 80s inspired look that they were doing for the song that they did from RuPaul's new Christmas album. Available on iTunes. Available on iTunes. Make sure you get it. Yes. We're gonna get through these really quickly. First up, we have Kim Chi. I love this look. It looks great. There's nothing I can say bad about it. It's a toot. Love the neon hair. Love the look. They go well together. It's a toot. Up next, we have Shangela, hallelujah. <laughs> toot, love it. It's toot, it's very Cindy Lauper. I'm into yes. it, good gal. Hair, makeup, everything works, toot. Mm -hmm. Next up, Sonique, giving us a little 80s Jane of the Jungle look. I like it, it's a toot. I love it. What's Bam Bam's girlfriend's name? Pebbles. Pebbles, I think it's kind of Pebbles, and I live for it, she looks great. It's a toot. Up next, we have my sister, Eureka O'Hara. I like it, it's a toot. It's kind of giving me Cindy Lauper-ish too. Yeah, I love this. This might be one of my favorite things. I love the ankle length tight on Eureka. That looks great. Yep. Uh, toot. Toot, toot. Here we have Mayhem Miller. This is cute too, this is a toot. I love it, it's a very 80s workout video. And she's a maniac. Yes. Maniac, Mayhem Miller. It's a toot. Toot. Trixie Mattel. I love it. Is the hair crimped? It's crimped, right. Like micro crimped, maybe, or maybe like a sculpted afro. I don't know. Love the big hair, love the 80s moment. They all look good, girl. It's a two. Two. Next up, Jasmine Masters. Girl, I love this. I love the look on her face and the baby hairs. That yep. is taking me to a completely different level. Yep. Two. It's very 80s. I'm into it. I love it. Plus, I booted her other look. So, girl, you look good. Toot. The queen herself, Miss Larger in Charge, Latrice Royale. I'm gonna toot it. I love the color combination. Toot. Have a break. Here I am, your Christmas 
Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you took Here a break to... from cracking nuts to pour me some champagne. Wow. Mm. Sometimes you feel like... What are your favorite kind of nuts? Um, I don't like a lot. I like macadamia. Mm -hmm. I like peanuts. Mm -hmm. I do not like pecans. Okay. Or walnuts. Okay. And I despise pecan pie. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, all my people from the South. <sighs> and now to the main event. First up, Eureka O'Hara. Serving us 1996 Holiday Barbie Edition. It's a toot for me from the from from the job. I love the hair. The little hat is cute. Mm -hmm. I give extra points for effort. And this looks oh, like, absolutely. you know, this doesn't look like something that she had in her closet that nope. she pulled out and tried to make Christmas. This is definitely, this is my Christmas Barbie look from yes. 1996. She definitely had this made for this challenge and I appreciate a girl that puts in effort and money into her drag. Her drag is not cheap and she looks great here. And I feel like she could be sitting in a little box. Eureka is a toot. Eureka is very much a toot. toot, toot. Up next we have Sonique. Serving Moschino Jeremy Scott Gingerbread Woman. This is so cute. I this love is it. Such a cute idea. The proportions of the colors, the little red buttons and the red gloves, like all of that is super, super, super cute. She looks cute. I feel like if Madonna dressed up as a matrony gingerbread woman, this would be what we would get because she kind of is giving me Madonna here. So I think it's really cute and I love gingerbread cookies. So, yeah. so Nick a, looks great. She looks great. It's a toot. Toot. Next up, Latrice Royale. Serving us red and gold eleganza. I love a cape moment, mm -hmm. and I feel like this is a great silhouette for her. You can still see her body, because the cape is high enough that you can still see her hips. I love the hair. I love the little clasp details in the front. I even love the shoes. You know what, I don't have a problem with open-toed shoes. I feel like... This is like a peep toe. It's a peep so toe. So it's like, you know... Mm -hmm. Just enough. Yes. I love it. This definitely screams Latrice at Christmas time. Everything looks great. This is one of my favorite things I've seen her wear. It's a toot. Yes. toot. Up next, we have Trixie Mattel. Who hates red and green, but loves white, so she's a snow angel. It's pretty. I love the earmuffs and the hair moment, um, the accessories in the hair. All of that is beautiful. The wings are great. The staff or mace or whatever you want to call it is great. I'm not in love with the dress. I love this. You know, I love a fantasy moment, and I love a wand or a staff. It's very cute. It's something that I would wear too. Agreed, I don't really like the dress with this. I would have loved something like more angelic and flowy, not the like stiletto sequin fabric. But she looks great, so um, I love the fantasy of it, and it's different from everybody else's, so I'm gonna take it. I give it a toot as well. Now we have Mayhem Miller. And as Miller time may do, she's giving us a twist and she is giving us Krampus Christmas. I love when girls step outside the box and separate themselves from everyone else and no one else did an evil Christmas gig. And I love that she went for Krampus. So I like it. I love everything about it. I love like the hooves, <gasps> like the hoof shoes. The like heels that. are hooves. Yes, which I think is super cool. Um, and this is definitely something I would have wanted to do for Christmas. <laughs> toot. I'm gonna toot it. And the fact that I just saw the hooves makes it so extra. And the fact that she went that far in the detail, Miss Mayhem Miller, I knew I liked you for a reason. Up next, we have Miss Yasmin Masters. The body looks good. Got some shoulders on her. You know I live for a muscle moment in a queen. Um, why do you think we can't see her face though? Maybe she's, you know, she's a Christmas present and she's wrapped up. Okay. That's one way to look at it. Like or, a, like a, that's a bow. you know. You know she, huh? That's a bow on her head? I think it's just like 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 organza or something. Like maybe it is a bow. I'm gonna just the outfit. You know, it's kind of cool to me. I love the boots and the skirt. The top and the collar, I'm not such a huge fan of. But the skirt and the boots is super cool. And you know, I think the color of the organza, whatever that is around her face, um, kind of works with the skirt and the boot color. It is a lot of different golds put together, which normally is an issue. But this is this is still it's still a toot for me. The garment's cool. I'm definitely gonna give it a cute, because I don't get it, but it's not ugly, so it's a cute. And next we have kimchi. Serving us all the gifts under the tree. All the gifts under the tree. Yes. I, I love that her hair is a Christmas tree. That's mm -hmm. my favorite part. I love this. It's very kimchi. I feel like maybe this is the Christmas skirt that is her top, and then the Christmas tree is her hair, and she has her little topper, and she has literally all the presents on her. This is very conceptual, it's very kimchi. Mm -hmm. It's extra as hell, and I fucking love it. It's a toot for me. It's a toot. 
Hallelujah! Up next, we have Miss Shangela. She's serving us from season three, Frostula. This is cool. I love this take on snowman. I like snowman for Christmas for mm -hmm. some reason. I've oh, tried a yeah. hundred different Christmases to be a snowman and it's yeah. never worked. This is super cool. Um, I love the reveal of the little face thing. The top hat is cute. Mm -hmm. I love the buttons. I love the sleeve length on the left arm. All of it is so, so, so smart. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is such a couture moment of a snowman. She has the top hat. You can tell that it is adorned. It has sequins, it has texture, and then the sleeves are puffy and it's kind of like pulled. I can't tell if it's like pulled and ripped apart or if it's like, it's it's fuzzy. I love the whole thing. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's a very great take on Frosty the Snowman. It is an absolute toot for me. I might even say this is a shoot. Toot. Trend alert! Holidays at, at the, the Met Gala. Because all these girls' outfits was extra as Extra. Extra. Down the Met Gala you go. Our top two of the week is Shangela! Frostula. I love it. It was an amazing concept. Yes. She definitely gave me well Met done. Gala. Met Gala Frosty the Snowman, and I'm here for it, bitch. Well done. Tune in next Friday, because guess what? On VH1. All, All Stars, Stars 4! And get yourself a bottle of Segura Fudas to drink while you eat. Watch. Merry Christmas, Mr. President.